FNAF World has 48 playable characters, and 8 of these characters are already unlocked, aka the starters, and as you progress through the game, you unlock better and stronger characters. The game was never meant for you to stick with the 8 base characters, but as I have proven many times, I'm a madman, so I decided to see if it was possible to beat the Owl and Scott Coffin while only using the starting characters. And unlike the Pacifist Challenge, I didn't test this beforehand, so I genuinely had no clue what was in store for me. But nonetheless, I went and dived in head first anyway. A late Scott and Security Owl are almost- are, oh wait, no, they are impossible on this challenge without Reapers killing them. Funny you should mention that. That was actually what kept me up last night and prevented me from going to sleep. Oh boy, this is our whole team for the entire run. I'm so looking forward to this. I, I genuinely don't know if this is possible. <laughs> Technically, this is impossible. Uh, I'm just gonna point it point blank, period. Unless, un unless, if it weren't for Foxy right here. Foxy is gonna be the key. We have Foxy, which has jump scare, right? Foxy was one of the three components that allowed the pacifist run to be possible because his jump scare prevented fourth wall. W without Foxy, this would be impossible, okay? Just, I I'm gonna go ahead and point that out there. But because we're only using the starting characters, we're missing two of the other key components. Number one being haunting. That was how we prevented Scott from doing his melee attacks, which basically just boned us. Unfortunately, we don't have that. The other thing is the debuffs. The debuffs took away Scott's overpowered uh, attacks, it, but it mainly took away his speed and it lowered his defense. Those three components are what allowed the challenge to be possible in any sort of means. So, we're missing two of those components. But, 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 we have Foxy, which gets rid of fourth wall, which means, technically, if we can somehow survive Scott's melee attacks and not be immediately murdered from them, it's possible. I just don't know how yet. Oh, and we're gonna allow gift boxes. There's no way this is gonna be possible without gift boxes. I'm just- I'm gonna go ahead and point that out. Reapers each have a 0.1% chance to kill bosses. Games can be beaten on 1 billion difficulty. Okay, I understand that, and I get that as well. Technically, I could just use Reapers. What about Alarm? I have Neon Wall. Bites, are, bites and chips are allowed, by the way. All bites and chips. I just- I don't know, like, my whole plan was to just level up to, like, level 40 and then have three boss drains, and then have a block 50 defense, and then maybe have like some speed so that way I can get the foxy real quick. I don't know. Am I just beating it or 100%ing it? I will kill myself if I ever have to 100% this game again. I'm just, I'm just trying to beat Scott. Technically, you beat the game if you kill Owl, but that's on normal mode. So if I beat Owl, I, I'm going to consider that a win. But if I beat Scott, I'm going to consider that a double win. I have no clue what I'm doing, and I'm just winging this entire thing. So, r right now, I'm not even going to think about the future. Right now, I'm just going to level up as much as possible. I don't even know... Okay, the other main thing is, I gotta reach a level to where these guys can survive a male... Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm not using you anyways, so... I'm not going to use Reapers if I can help it. If it comes down to it, I will allow the Reapers. I just don't want to do it. Oh wait, no, Freddy is birthday! B f doesn't that- that's a status effect, right? Because if birthday gives us speed, defense, and attack, then that defense- well, no, I probably would just have to use a chip for that anyways. You're pretty sure jump scare can randomly come from Mangle's prize ball, but it's too random? Exactly. Like, if- if it was more reliable, then I'd utilize it, but I can't. Alright, we've done enough grinding, let's just go fight Chipper. Or not- uh, the auto Chipper, not the real Chipper, good god. That would suck. Auto Mimic might be good for jump scare, just, I, I don't know, because it would give me double healing, but still, I, I, uh, uh. okay, so I just need to save up for enough for the UFOs, because that's going to be like my main grinding thing, to level these guys up, and I have four, but you only have one HP and do one damage, that's not possible to beat, <laughs> Reaper Bites and Unscrew, look, the reason why I don't want to use the Reapers and Unscrew stuff well, I mean, I couldn't any use Unscrew anyways. But the reason why I don't want to use the Reapers, because then it just turns to an insta-kill challenge. And I don't want to do that. You're watching The Nun while watching stream? That is one hell of a combo. The Nun wasn't really that scary for me. I like The Conjuring a lot more. The first and second one. Let's do one more fishing thing, and then we'll go on 
because I just need a UFO. If I can get the three UFOs, that's gonna help out with grinding experience a lot. If I can just get those UFOs, this will make it a lot easier for me to grind. And then we can get to Scott quicker. And that way we can end this challenge quicker, win or lose. Why do I do this to myself, Dark? Entertainment value, I guess. Replayability on videos, because why not? Off to the other world, the flip side. All right, what do you think the odds I'm able to go get the red box over there and not die from the, uh, the uh, glitch characters? I didn't even get to go there. Okay, understood. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Please, get out of here. No, there's no shot we win this battle, even if it's just one of them. Okay, good. All right, we got it. Go, go, go. Get the hell back. I am terrified. And, oh, shit. Okay, maybe we survive. Uh-oh. Huh. Can I run? Please? No. You got to show Chica. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, first death of the challenge. Yay. Is this nightmare mode? It's just hard mode. I'm not doing a damn permadeath challenge with only the starter characters. That would be a hell beyond hell. Now, the moment I get... Okay, well, apparently I already got the chip and it counted, even though I died. Okay, we could probably fight this auto chipper, right? Hopefully, maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're not doing any damage at all to me. Ever comment week? Well, everybody, say goodbye to your bit rate. This is about to... <laughs> this is about to ruin everything. I don't know. Ever comment just completely destroys bit rate, no matter what. E like, on stream, it's bad, but on recording, it it's a little bit better. Uh, this challenge is going to be so bad without debuffs. Also, notice how it's winter, and it's September 30th as of today. And tomorrow begins the winter arc. If you don't know what the winter arc is, essentially... What the fuck? Do I have a virus on my computer or something? What the hell is Premier Opinion? Premier Opinion is a division of Comscore Incorporated, one of the nation's largest internet research firms? No. What the f- Okay, hold on. You're a temporary file called TMPDF58. I did not install you. Uh-huh, and now you're deleted. All right, that virus is gone, good. I'm, I'm also 99% certain I just got that, like, premiere thing a couple weeks ago, so something tells me there's something else on my computer that's installing that, and I swear to God, if Microsoft is installing that on my computer because I refuse to upload or upgrade to Windows 11, I'm gonna file a damn lawsuit. <laughs> not really, I'm just ranting right now. Anyways, Bouncer Snowman, you're not gonna immediately kill me, right? Pizza wheel, our hot cheese attack. Ow, that snowball really hurt my ass. Oh shit, Freddy's dead as well. Well, we beat Bouncer, so it doesn't matter. All right, Bouncer's done. Go to the mines. I yearn for the mines. Oh, when did I get the pearl? Well, I mean, I'm gonna take that, I don't care. Okay, in the mines, in the mines. Is there anything I need in the mines? I've, I, even after doing the whole pacifist run video, I still have no clue where exactly all the stuff is. My brain's like mush right now. I got the ACT in three days because, you know, as seniors, we have to retake it. We don't have a choice. But I got to study Wednesday because I need to bring my score up from a 26 to at least a 30. Got to get that score for college, you know. Got to get that score. Oh shit, I didn't even explain the winter arc. I just kind of started the whole thing. So today is September 30th, right? I'm gonna go ahead and open this can of worms. Tomorrow is October 1st. So begins the winter arc, so to speak. Also, d die, uh, but eyeball. But basically what the- Ooh, I need you, holy crap. Man, I keep getting interrupted in this damn conversation. So essentially, winter arc is this. It is this period of time where, from like now to, I think New Year's, where you're supposed to be like, I'm gonna fix myself and I'm gonna do everything I can to be the best version of me that I can possibly be. So for example, starting tomorrow morning, I'm waking up an hour earlier than I normally would. I'm going to get up and work out. And then after I work out, I'm going to, from now on until the end of the year, Freezing cold showers, no more hot showers, no more hot water, none of that. And it's gonna be winter as well, so that water is gonna be literally ice. I don't even know if it's gonna come out at that point. So that's gonna suck in the morning after I work out. 
But then I bought creatine and a bunch of peanuts and protein items at Walmart. I'm going to eat my weight in protein every single day. I weigh 150 pounds, so I'm going to have to eat 150 grams of protein a day. Ugh. And then on top of that, I have to learn a new skill for in this time period, which I don't know what I could learn. Maybe learn how to sing. I guess that's what I could do. I could learn how to sing by tr practicing the national anthem. I could do that. Y'all are saying self-improvement is stupid. Nah, self-improvement is good. Oh yeah, also one of the other things is you can't be in a relationship, which I already got that down. It's all about that self-discipline, man. Gotta get self-improvement, self-discipline. Gotta work on myself. This this first couple weeks is gonna suck, though. This game is just colors and colors, Spongy? It, yeah. That's... Oh, I'm not, I don't even know how to respond to that. Okay. Okay, so I'm curious. We're at about 170, 180 health. They're at level 14. How in God's name am I going to get them high enough level? I have no clue how I'm going to get them that high. Because they need to be like 600 to 700 health. Maybe even more because of their low defense. This is... Oh my God. I really just need to get to the funhouse and then just grind. Grind my ass off like I've never grinded before. Okay, I, I forget what's right here. Run luck. Okay, nah. Can I go get the UFOs from here? Pretty sure. Because I don't need to go to the nightmare area. As long as I don't run into Super Goon or Sea Goon or the Goon Monster. See, Sea Goon is fine. Super Goon sucks. Super Goon is worse than Overclock because even though Overclock is faster, Overclock does nowhere near as much. Hi. We were just talking about you. I would like for you to leave me alone, sir. All right, bye, Sea Goon. Tell your brother Super Goon I said I'm coming for him later. Why did my camera just die? Are you kidding me? Are we Gucci? We're Gucci. Okay. Okay. Do I have enough for UFO? I got enough for one. Oh, I have enough for the bottom two. So. All of those UFOs are going to be so helpful. Okay, we need to get reinforced armor basically immediately. Because... You suggest F2 before I die on Scott? No. Not the first time, at least. The first time is literally just gonna be a gauge to see how far I can get. All right, going back into the flip side. I don't, I think I got my like outro from the name of this area, the flip side. Cause you know, at the end of my videos, I say, I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, we're in the nightmare area. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what am I doing? Right, I needed to go back to the uh, UFO area because there's a red box there that I gotta get. Speaking of Redbox, did you know Redbox, the company, you know, that sells a disc, like rents you disc at the Walmart and the Redbox boxes? Uh, that company is officially shut down and Redbox no longer exists. The red boxes are still there, but you know, the company never exists. D not never. It doesn't exist anymore. I can't speak. Okay. Pizza Fury. I think that's gonna help for now. Someone should that yeah. someone should she should shup shup. Someone should suggest a indie game because I can't, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I can't speak. My brain is not braining. It's all smooth right now. Any crease is gone. I need Adderall or something. I need Adderall or a, or a Zan or a perk or something. Literally something to wake me up, even though I think none of those would wake me up except Adderall. Okay, go in here, talk to Fredbear, and then we can uh, move on to the places that'll actually give me gold or tokens. We, we're just gonna fight gold end though, nonstop. See, we could also save up for the bomb, but I don't know if that's really gonna help out too much. I think the UFOs would be a better investment. Splash, I you gotta get sober. Your body gives yourself the energy as long as I get sunlight. Dude, I've been outside sweeping at work all day. Believe me, I've been out in the sun. Well, I mean, at least I've been out in the sun. There's been a shitload of clouds because of the hurricane, but still. Okay, Freddles, I don't know if we have the strength necessary to go get Freddles. I'll try, though. Play truck driver while drunk. Well, you see, I'm still 17, so even when I turn 18, I'm not technically allowed to drink for another three years. But in the state of Tennessee, as long as you're in your own household and your parents uh, are okay with it, and you don't buy the alcohol, but somebody else buys it for you, namely your parents, then you're allowed to drink it. I think so. 
I'm either that or I just made that lol up. I don't know. Oh, you piece of shit. Ooh, I don't care if I don't get to use you. I'm still going to torture you regardless. Oh. All right. Hopefully, we don't immediately die from this dude. Because i it's like a 50-50 shot. Holy crap. Okay. We'll see. What, ca what Canadian territories do I know? Let's see. So there's Yukon. There's like... Is Toronto a territory or a city? I'm pretty sure it's just a city. Um... Uh, I, I think that's it. Y Yugoslav? No, that's a whole- that's a country I don't even think exists anymore. Listen, I don't know y'all's provinces. Listen, I can name all the U.S. presidents. I just can't name any provinces in Canada. Okay, so we got Fredel Fury, Auto Shield, Pizza Fury, Auto Gift Boxes. That's gonna be our setup right now until we get Endless Speed. Nova Scotta, Toronto, Montreal. Isn't Montreal also a city? Look, I really don't know. We're getting off of this conversation before a whole bunch of Canadians come into my chat and just absolutely eviscerate me. Because look, people think Canadians are nice, and they are. They're really nice in times of peace. But when you put them at war, they're the reason why the Geneva Convention exists. That's the easiest way I can put it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not explaining it to you. Look it up on your own. Canadians are ruthless. So the boss train uh, bites are in here. Cool but I still need to save up for the other UFO first. I can get the boss trains later, but right now the grind is the main thing. Cause see, what level are we, right? We're level 16. Cool. If we get to level 20, we need to multiply that by two. And then that's what our health will be at when we're at level 40. And if whatever health that is, if it's, not oh shit, you're not, your health is not moving at all. I might be in over my head right now. Bit rate be damned. <laughs> bit rate be damned. I'm, I'm looking over at my phone right now, which is watching the stream. <laughs> it literally looks like four pixels. Okay, well, at least we got through Mad Endo without losing all of our first team. We lost most of it, but not all of it. Okay, so we're all level 17 now. Good. Need, uh, 23 more levels. I didn't even need to fight him. That's the fine characters thing. Let's see, is there anything else down here? No. There might be a rock I need to run my head into, but that's about it. The popsicle song and Go Noodle. No, no, shut up, Alan, shut up. You know how long that took me to get out of my damn head in third grade? It, I had it in my head for like three years, nonstop. And now you just reminded me of that. How dare you? And it's not popsicle, it's popsico, not popsicle, popsico. Now it's going to take me another three years to get the pop, seco, pop, pop, seco song out of my head. What a lovely day. Dude, I absolutely hated Go Noodle. Like, even back in kindergarten when I still had friends before I had to move schools about a hundred times, I just, I hated those songs. And now we should be in the fun house. Right? Please? Good. At least I can come back here now anytime I want. Cool. So, step one. Fish. fish. Holy crap, that is slow. You think I can snipe this pearl even with that pink fish right there? Well, never mind. Pink fish is over it. And even if I wanted to, the blue and purple fish are over. Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to get this pearl because of how slow it's moving. Unless, right here, I make the play of a century. I should be on a professional fishing team that specifically uses plungers to hunt for pearls. If that, if that was a real thing, I would be number one, top dog. They'd pay top money for me. Do I need reinforce or should I just wait for steel? I'll get reinforced. I'll need it. So let's do some math real quick. Let's do some math. Who in our party is level 20? Nobody in our party is level 20. Everybody's level 17. When we get to level 20, I got to look at the health and then we're going to do some math to determine what our final thing is going to be for level 40. Would I be able to kill Brow Boy without the boss strain fights? I'm going to give it a shot, because why not? Though I doubt we're going to make any progress. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, sorry, Freddy, you're basically walking into your own grave. Yep, he one-shots people. All right, this is, this is terrible. Okay, so essentially it's a race against time. Fine by me. Oh, shit, he used balloons. Ah, that hurts, you dickhead. Okay, so we're good. I still killed you before I ran out of lives on the first team. Fine by me. <laughs> I think that's the last time we're going to be able to kill a boss like this. How am I going to defeat Porky? Dude, 
I don't know. I doubt we'll be able to even beat the owl. I, I, listen, at this point, I'm going to consider the owl... If we beat him, I'm going to consider that a partial win. So, if we beat the owl, partial win. I need to get to the area with the gold and... Oh, shit, wait. Bubba's blocking it. I have a very bad feeling that if I even remotely interact with him, he'll eviscerate me. Let me go fishing first. I will fight Bubba in a moment. I want to go fishing first. I gotta, I gotta clear my head if I'm gonna fight Bubba. Give me an opportunity. Give me a single opportunity and I shan't waste it. What do I say? If you let me cook, I'll cook. Uh, I guess let's just go fight Bubba. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get the boss drain real quick because it costs 200. Try Bubba, see what happens. And then we'll go from there. Conjuring 2 is your new favorite movie. I love the second Conjuring. First and second one, man, absolutely phenomenal movies. The only perfect, quote-unquote, perfect movie, I think, and this one's controversial, Hereditary. Hereditary was a phenomenal horror movie, and I don't understand why people shit on it so much. Like, I think people missed the whole point of Hereditary, which was, it was an Egyptian king coming back to try to, you know, possess somebody. And at first, I didn't even get it, but still, great movie. Okay, Bubba, are you gonna be nice to me, or are you going to murder me please be nice uh regen song in case he doesn't immediately murder me go ahead happy jam literally i'm just gonna be healing that's all i'm gonna do i think that's i think that's what we gotta do up until scott and the owl i think it's just status effects for us and then heal okay i think we'll be fine even though we only have one gift box yeah we're good we got this in the bag Woo! Bubba's dead Okay, good experience, good experience, good job, team. High five, pat on the back. All right, so now we're in the area of Goldendo. Good! I do not want to leave this area until I fight Goldendo. I am going to sit here until we get Goldendo. And basically, all I have to do is enter and exit out of my inventory a bunch. Just got to keep doing that until I, uh, until I get him. Which shouldn't be too long. Hey, Goldendo! What's up, buddy? See, this is essentially how I need the Scott boss fight to go. Like, he's gonna hit me a whole bunch. I understand that. But what I need to happen is for him to just not one-shot me every time. If I can get to that point, we'll be fine. Alright, yeah, we're golden. Golden, though, we're golden. We killed him. Hooray, hoorah, hoorah. Thousand splish coins. Or fast tokens. God, I can't even say the names of the things correctly. Okay, so we have an option. We can go give a second boss drain. Or go get the UFO. I think we should go get the second boss drain, come back to this, and then farm gold endo some more. Yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go get the second boss drain real quick. Okay, second boss drain, hip hip hooray. Put that instead of the wasp. So now, go fight gold endo again. Then we have enough for the UFO, which will be great. Then we can really take down enemies. All right, save here, and now Alt F4. And now we load back into the game, and we repeat this process many, 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 many times. F2 is faster. Well, what does F2 do? Refresh the game? Hey, second gold end, though. This one should go a lot quicker now that we have the second boss stream. But I still have to heal a shit ton because gold endo sucks. Okay, second gold endo dead. Good. Only gotta do it, what, 10, 11, 12 more times? Still, let's just go get the UFO and fish. You're not gonna survive here, rats. Don't even try. Don't be racist. I am a building. Sonic Generations is peak. Sonic Colors is peak, to be honest. That is my favorite Sonic game. And I will not take any blasphemy of talking about that game. Now, don't get me wrong. Sonic Generations and Sonic Lost World are, is pretty good. But Colors is the best. Especially fighting the Wisp Queen on DS great game i wish i still had it on the ds i would absolutely play the shit out of that was anybody else as a kid scared of toy story 2 no i was a little bit more scared of toy story 1 you know with the mangled toys from sid i think that's a little bit more deserving of being scared the one of the bear the bear was the third one i guess the third one was a little scary it really wasn't for me though i, I don't know toy story 3 was just a normal toy story game also are we gonna have to fight brow boy we are damn it all right, Bubba, time to fight you again. So, five gold endo kills for the 50 block. 
five gold endo kills for the what the hell is it the third boss drain and then 10 endo kills for the titanium armor so that's 20 kills total for gold endo good night man this, this is gonna be a while we need to get that third uh boss drain as fast as possible man all right first of the 20 gold endos dead it's gonna be so fun <laughs> Pizza Lee, uh -huh, he's a cat, but he throws his knife, watch the mic go smack, doing what we can, Bonnie plays Bash Jam, happy birthday, Chica throws her cupcakes. Alright, second gold endo down, 18 more! When we go get the third boss strain as well, I need to go get endless speed, dude. There we go. Okay, here's what's gonna happen, alright? We're gonna grind for the third eyeball. That, that, that's a necessity. We're also maybe gonna grind to get the second armor, and then we might grind for the 50 defense. But nonetheless, I wanna see if, how far I can get with just the third eye. And also, this challenge is just the death of me. W way worse than pacifist. Yeah, e easily if I had the rank, which one is harder, this or pacifist? This one by a long shot. Because essentially, I have to use the exact same setup in pacifist with the bites and chips. Except with the worst possible characters I could take into the boss fight. Alright, third Goldendo down. Two more to go. Go bald on 10k? No. Fun fact, Pluto, about going bald. One of the optional challenges for the winter arc is to shave your head. And as much, as much fun as that would be, but my favorite quality about myself physically is my hair. If I did not have my hair... I don't think I would be able to live. All right, fourth gold endo, dead. I looked so different last year, TPX, did I? I don't think I looked too different. Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's take a little break for a moment. Let's look at uh, your gold. <laughs> Do y'all see this damn bit rate right here? Holy crap, man. You can't even see my face. Look at that. You can't see it. The bitrate is just so terrible. All right, here we go. That haircut, I man. I hate my hair being short, dude. Here. My hair being short but sucks. And my hair being messy sucks. And, and everything about it sucks. Anywho, back to the game. Did I reset for Golden, though? I look totally different facially. Yeah, because I was younger and I didn't have as many hair follicles on my face. And also, that was trying to grow out my beard, so. Bearded Splash is not something that needs to exist at this young. Bearded Splash needs to be a little bit more manly before he grows one out. Bearded Splash looks good. Yeah, fully Bearded Splash. But the process of getting there sucks. Like, the only time of the year you will ever see me grow out a beard is winter. Like, dead of winter. And even then, the most I'll let it grow out for is like four weeks. Hey, Golden Endo number five is dead. We can move on. Hooray. <laughs> Boom, third boss drain. Now we got big UFO, all three boss drains. Hopefully we can kill Pork Patch really quickly. Cause this is, is it's we're at the point of where it's the exact same problem we're running to if the pacifist run. It's just how quickly can we kill them before they eventually kill us? You skip so many days as a senior TPX. Dude, the school is really cracking down on seniors missing this year. Like, dude, they like this morning, for example. I woke up at, you know, 6.30, my scheduled time, right? And I was like, man, five more minutes. And then I don't know what happened. It felt like five minutes. I blink, and then I open my eyes, look at my clock, and it says 7.20. And I'm like, fuck. So I managed to get outside of my car, but because of the hurricane and I hadn't drove my car in two days, it took me, I like freaked out because my uh, engine wasn't flipping over when I was turning the key. Ugh, it freaked me out and I was almost late and that's happened so many times this year Compared to every other point in my life. I've never been this late. Anyway, big patch. Hi, buddy What's up? Are you gonna be nice to me or are you gonna absolutely murder me? Well, there's really only one way to find out. Let's go, buddy Let's see Oh, okay, so he if he hits somebody they're automatically dead Good to know. I think that block 50 and other stuff is going to be a necessity. I really wish those boss drains would hurry up. Like, now. Wait, okay, so Foxy survived. 
Sheik did not. Does Foxy just have an average higher base stat of defense? Also, let's go. All right, got key. How much is the armor? Because we need the armor. 1500? Oh, that's simple. Let's go fight a gold endo. Oh, y'all can't see his health bar? Shit. Uh, I think that's fine. That's a good place. All right, let us go and do this little area right here, which I think it's just... Okay. I don't think there's any boss here. No, we just hit it. Okay, uh, Bouncer 2.0. I am 99% certain I will die if I fight you right now. But there's that 1%. Please don't tell me you just immediately murder me. Please tell me... Okay, good. You don't immediately kill me. Good, 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 good. I don't know what was with Pig Patch, but great. I will take that. I will take that all the way to the bank. As long as you don't kill me now or use Snowball. I feel like Snowball would have very drastic effects on my team. All right, Bouncer's dead. I'm just going to let the boss trains do their job. Whew. All right, well, that's uh, one of the three down. But that was the easiest one. It's gonna be interesting to fight Super Goon. Okay. I know for a 100% fact we're not winning this one. Because Super Goon attacks super, super, super fast. But I still have to try it. Just to gauge how far I can get. Because we have... Okay, I'm putting on Curse. Because we could probably kill him in a minute. And I need him to be slowed down in his attack and defense to be down. And he completely eviscerates me. Okay, not fun, not cool, not demure. Do not like this. And he uses unscrew. And it worked. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this. Shit, Chica's dead. Uh-oh. Bad, 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 bad. Very, very bad. Well, we won. I don't know what I'm worrying about, but still. I'm reaching the point where I can't brute force my way anymore. Okay, we killed Super Goon. And we killed Bouncer. Even though I was super certain we wouldn't win against Super Goon, I am now 95% certain we will not win against Overclock. Because Super Goon was fast with his attacks. Overclock, I think, is double Super Goon with his attacks. Maybe not as strong, but still double. This, uh, this ought to be interesting. I am, I am terrified for this. Oh, there's no way we win. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, so he doesn't do as much damage, but he still hurts like hell. So regen song, keep me up to health. Birthday one more time, keep that speed up. I know he does unscrew a lot, so that's gonna hurt. Again? Bonnie, no! <laughs> oh God, I might need block unscrew for him if I die here. Yeah, he may just be extremely fast at attacking. We're just, he's not a match for my healing power. Okay, overclock. Ooh. Well, that went a lot better than I expected. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I did not think we would be able to just defeat all four. So the other question is, can we defeat the owl first try? If he attacks, it's an instant kill. So curse status might not work, but it does slow him down. I have birthday, I don't need defense strength or speed. What I need is not auto regen, but something to kill him quicker. So probably Freddle Fury. I think that's the best we can possibly get for this. We're gonna get our asses handed to us. What level are we before we go? So we're level 25 going into the owl boss fight. That's halfway to 50. So that's halfway to being the, the highest level I'm gonna get before I call this challenge impossible if I've not beaten it. In that case, let's see how this goes. I don't even think jump scare is going to be necessary. I don't even think I need to do birthday either. I just need to attack as much as humanly possible. Just attack, attack, attack. I need to take Chica off. I should have done that. I should have switched her out for somebody. Well, Freddy's dead. That's not good. Oh shit, Chica's dead. Well, if we get him to half health, that'd be pretty cool. How much damage does he do per melee attack? I've not even looked. Oh, 1,044? Yeah, there's no shot we survived that. <laughs> well, we got him to half health at least. That's pretty interesting. How close do you think we're gonna get him to death? We got him to about quarter before he finally decided to eviscerate us. Well, bye Toy Bonnie. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Are you gonna die? Okay, yep. <laughs> oh boy. You know what the problem with that is? Is that there's nothing I can really do to increase my attack. 
that's kind of the max attack I got, which is the main problem. Okay, so on team one for Owl, here's where we gotta strategize, right? We need as much attack. So we need Foxy, Mangle, because of Prize Ball, Toy Bonnie, because of Prize Ball. I don't know, Freddy or Toy Freddy, it doesn't really make a difference. I guess Freddy, and then everybody else can be on team two. We need auto gift boxes and auto shield. Those are the two minimum we need. Curse status, I think, was helpful. I don't know how helpful. Auto mimic is not going to be helpful. Pizza Fury might be really good. So we'll try Pizza Fury real quick. Okay, second attempt at Owl before we start leveling up. Still same bite, different chips, and different party team loadout. Try this again. As long as Freddy doesn't die immediately, I think I'll be fine. Okay, well, we got Foxy. Freddy's already lost one. Why did I do poppers? Oh shit, Freddy's dead. Something tells me we're doing a little bit worse this time around because of the no curse. Okay, so curse status effect was a lot more helpful. So that that is something we're gonna need. Okay, so knowing that, knowing that we need to reinstate curse ailment, keep the same team loadout. So this loadout right here, I think is the best. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, we're, we're just gonna try it. I'm not even gonna think about it. Screw it. We're not even gonna use jump scare at this point. Foxy, I don't see a point. Uh, we're just gonna use hot cheese. Hot cheese, prize ball, healing does nothing. I've never survived the hit. And Foxy's dead. Maybe munchies would be good. I don't know. Okay, Mangle's dead. Fine. Whatever. Speed song. Speed up, speed up. Ah, uh, he's so close. You gotta be kidding me, man. Damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm gonna give it one more try tonight before I just call it a night and then we try this tomorrow. What other thing could I possibly improve? Cause that's about as, as good as I could possibly get. Team two has zero attack. We're not using Reapers, Charlie. I refuse to resort to the Reapers. We're just gonna try it one more time. Don't use poppers, just use blatant attacks. Hot cheese, munchies. Look, prize ball, hot cheese. Come on, Freddles, I need you to appear way more often. Oh my god, no. This is even worse than last time. Party favors, bash jam, birthday. He does 931 damage. There's no way to survive that. Well, there it is. Got him to maybe one-tenth health. Literally, I have two options at this point. Option one, which is the one I prefer because I don't want to do insta-kill, have just level up to level 40, which God knows how long that would take. Let, let's point it, let's put it point blank. Owl is possible. I just have to figure out how to beat him. So plan for tomorrow, get to level 40 or just defeat the owl. As for Scott, I'm pretty sure we might have to do insta-kill for Scott. I'll give him a couple attempts without insta-kill, but for Scott, it's looking grim. Who knows, though? Only time will tell. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I really want to jump off of a building right now. That winter arc challenge I was talking about yesterday, I started doing that this morning, right? And I had to wake up an hour early. I woke up at 5.30. And let me tell you, I really, really, really should not have ate peanuts immediately after waking up and then immediately working out and also i tried working out at the exact same intensity that i did whenever i did football big mistake literally i feel like if i had done one more push-up or one more pull-up i would have i would have thrown up it, like i got i know that feeling i know that feeling at heart tomorrow i gotta do squat day and then run that's gonna suck and i've gotten four hours of sleep i'm dying i need rest damien yeah, the stream's gonna be a relatively short one if I can't beat Scott. So Bubba gave good experience, great. Now I just gotta fight enemies. Don't worry though, I'm not gonna make you sit through it because it's about an hour long and the only thing I do is fight the same enemies over and over and over again. And it's really boring. So let's just go ahead and skip back to the part where I start fighting the owl and get my skull f about a million times. Okay, so here we are at the owl. Let's put on cursed status again and auto gift boxes. Let's just go ahead real quickly and try and beat Owl. Do I think we're gonna win? No, but let's give it a shot. Fair and honest shot. 
I did not equip. Okay, uh, restart, please. Okay, real attempt now. Uh, three, two, one, go. Jump scare. Actually, I don't think jump scare is gonna do anything. Hot cheese. Yeah, I think hot cheese and doing damage is gonna be the main thing. Oh shit. Oh my god. Why did speed go away? Okay, bash jam. Party favors. Birthday. And mic toss. Well, I don't think this attempt went really well. This was such a terrible attempt. The frettles aren't really doing much either. We didn't... We didn't even get good frettle spawn. Let's just do a couple more attempts, okay? Let's do... Because, like, there's a little bit of RNG involved. Let's do a couple more attempts at this. All right. Never tried. This sucks, man. This, this just... Uh, we need the fan. I see no other way around it. We we need the fan. I proceeded to farm for characters for 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna make you watch that boring nonsense as well. I also decided to go on to a cheated save and test whether or not the fan would actually make a difference. It would, but not enough to where I wanted to grind for it. While I was testing the fan, I also timed how long it took the owl to attack with and without the cursed status effects. It took it 15 seconds to attack once when it had the debuff, and 10 to 11 seconds without it. I tried timing my jump scare attack to right before the owl would attack, because I believed it would cancel the melee attack, and I wouldn't take any damage. Needless to say, I was naive. Okay, now that we know that is possible, I'm gonna pull up the timer on my phone. So the moment I go in here, I'm starting the stopwatch, and I basically just have to get to Foxy. Get to Foxy, block his attacks, and then we'll be good. Go. Okay, we're at Foxy. Wait till about 14. Wait a minute. He's not cursed. Wait a minute, where are my gift boxes? One moment, please. Three, two, one, go. Okay, at about 13, I'm gonna do it. Yep, okay, it blocked it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so now it's gonna be at about 27, or 28 that I need to do it. Shit, it was a little too early. Damn it. Okay, so it was different. It was different, that's fine. So it was at about 30, 31, so at about 44. Come on, block it. Damn it! Okay, it hit at 48, so that would be 51, that'd be a minute and one seconds. Foxy's dead, are you kidding me? We might be boned. I don't understand why Foxy got immediately eviscerated. Whatever. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll get him on the next runaround. The jump scare added on to the timer. So the timer paused when he got jump scared. So, yeah, okay, cool, dead, whatever. So I need to start counting when jump scare is over, not whenever I jump scare him or when he attacks. That's how this has to go. Okay, that's fine. I got that in the bag now. Now that I get, I got that. Okay, try it again. Three, two, one. Timer will start now. Foxy, listen to me, buddy. You're level 31. You got this, dude. You got this. You got it. I believe in Foxy. I just have to sum- Okay. The moment it hits 13, I need to have clicked it. Okay. The moment it hits 13. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm done with this shit. Seven, eight, nine. I was trying to get there. If Foxy could just not be the first fucking one dead every single time, this would be phenomenal. We need just one good one. Just one good one. One good run. Eight, nine, ten. Did he just fucking double tap me? What, what, what the fuck? He double tapped me. Are we not gonna- are we just gonna- Foxy had a fucking gift box and bo- I'm going to shove this bottle up that owl's ass. You know what? I want to try something real quick. Just screw- screw the- screw the timer. Get- just- timer doesn't exist anymore. I just want to try something real quick, right? I just want to see what happens if I just mass jump scare him as much as humanly possible. So just prize ball. What if I- what if I just try and mass jump scare, huh? What if I just do that? I'm not gonna win it. He's still way too high health. He is still such way too high health, man. We got close. Don't get me wrong. That's a that's a actually probably the farthest we've gotten by just randomly spamming jump scare. 
Let's, l let me do another uh, random attempt. I feel like the jump scares don't actually block his attack. I just feel like they prevent it from appearing. If that makes any sense. Yeah, because, okay, so yeah, jump scare doesn't even block it. I just realized that. Jump scare doesn't fucking block it. It just makes it appear like it blocked it. So the only way to win this is literally through prize ball. We'd have to get so incredibly lucky with prize ball. And we're not even getting lucky with prize ball. We're not, we're not gonna win this one. I'm not even gonna. I don't, how lucky would we have to possibly get with prize ball? Do you know how many jump scares that would have to be? No, not fucking. Ah! Please hit Freddy. Thank you. Holy crap. No. Please hit Freddy one more time. Please hit Freddy one more time. Please hit Freddy. No. There's no shot. There's no fucking shot. There's no shot. There's no shot. There's no shot. Please, please. I need you to survive long enough. Game, please. Please. This is a. Oh, please. Game. Game, please. Please, game. Please. 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 Oh, my God. Holy shice. Somehow, some way. We beat the owl without insta-kill. Holy crap. I actually thought that was impossible after I figured out that stunning him when he was about to attack didn't actually take away his attack. Holy crap. Now that I had defeated the owl, it was finally time to move on to Scott Coffin. Oh, who, who am I kidding? Absolutely not. The guy is impossible to kill using the starter characters without getting them to like level 200 or using the Reapers. And even with the Reapers, I spent an entire stream attempting to kill Scott with them. And guess what? Not once did they go off. So yeah, while it's technically possible to kill Scott with a Reaper, as seen here in an Astral Spiff video, I don't have days to spend trying to do it, nor do I want to waste the people who join my live streams time. But, like I said earlier in the video, if we at least killed the owl, I would consider it a win. And by god, we pounded that owl into a metal puddle. With that being said, thank you for watching. If you want to see more, like and subscribe to help me make this my full-time job. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the flip side.